All right, guys, we got a different kind of video going here today. We are here on Rustic Rangeland, a custom map I just built in FS22. Now, this map is a start from scratch kind of map, kind of like No Man's Land. Chris wanted to start another start from scratch kind of series, and uh, we were talking about it, and then I got the idea of just making another uh, start from scratch kind of map. So uh, I uh, downloaded this MTTP Multifruit 4X base template map. It's completely flat. And there's no trees or anything on it, no uh, cell points, no nothing. I loaded in, and I, uh, of course, I gave myself unlimited money with Easy Dev, and I uh, went ahead and built this custom app for you guys. All right, loading in here, guys. Of course, we turn around here. You can see the house, the starting house. It is a uh, trailer. And we got the little fire pit there as well. We turn around here. We've got this older barn here. We got the bus, of course, coming out, and we got some smaller trash decorations around. And on the inside, we've got some bushes everywhere just to make it look older and run down, right? And as we come over here, we have another smaller barn. Now, this is really small. I'm not sure what kind of equipment you can fit in here. We'll go ahead and unlatch it and open up the doors here and walk in. As you guys can see, like I was saying, it is pretty small in here. You can't really fit much in here, but we do have a loft over here to where you can uh, throw some stuff up there if you want. We've also got a light switch here you, where you can uh, turn on the lights if I can figure out what button it is. All right, there we go. We got the lights turned on. So this building does have lights. Um, we'll go ahead and shut those back off and head back out. But as you guys can see in the top right corner of the map, we have $30,000. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but keep in mind, you own the entire map. Granted, there are no fields or anything. So, I mean, you're going to have to build the fields yourself. But also, you don't start with any equipment. There is no equipment to your name right now. So you're going to have to buy a truck or a tractor or whatever you want to use to start this series off with. A lot of people will start with like a truck and a chainsaw just to kind of get that going, get some logging going since there's a lot of trees on the map. You know, just easy money, right? So we'll go jump in the shop here and we're going to buy ourselves a truck just so we can show everybody the, uh, the map a little better. So, of course, you can buy the truck. I gave you enough money to where you can buy the in-game truck if none of your mods work. This truck is going to be about $26,000, so we're going to go ahead and buy that here. And of course, we'll show you that we can still buy a chainsaw. Those are only $1,000. So you still have $3,000 to your name here if you went and bought the truck and the chainsaw. But let's tab over to the truck here quick. All right, here we are. We are at the shop. A nice little shop area. I didn't design this part. This part was based on the map. But we've got some gravel and some different, uh, different uh, fill types here on the ground where you can... Uh, you can actually pick up and use and place down, I'm pretty sure. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're there for. Coming through here, we've got, I think that's the wood cell point, if I remember correctly. I'm not for sure. And then coming through here, we've got a town. We've got a nice Casey's, a Dairy Queen, a little strip mall, just for some role play, a post office, and a church. You know, I'm really liking this little map or this little town I built. But if we turn around, we've got a couple more things to look at over here. Over on this side of the map, we've got our cell points. Of course, we've got Dollar General. That's not a cell point. But if we look to our left, if we look to our left here, we've got the Silver Run Market. You can sell a whole bunch of goods there. You can sell most of your crops and uh, some of the uh, production stuff there. And if we look over to our right, we have the S Mart. That is another spot to where you can sell a lot of your goods as well. So we got a couple cell points on the map. As we head down the road here, a little bit more. You'll, you will notice that the uh, asphalt road ends and we get onto a gravel or a dirt road, I guess. And you notice there are a lot of trees on this map. So if you do start with a truck and a chainsaw, you can get a ton of trees. And of course, we have the open areas that have the bushes and the trees as well. So if you want to get like some smaller trees, go out in the open areas and cut down those trees so you can build yourself out some fields. Maybe mow it, the grass for some hay to sell for some quick cash. Maybe silage. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Of course, coming down this road, you'll see in the distance here that we're going to show up to the uh, the starting farm. You can see it down the road there. I'm not going to go all the way down the road here, guys. I'm going to flip a U-turn here because we've already seen that. You've seen that already. There's no need to really go down there. Um, so we'll head back the other way. And there is a side road right here on the right. We're going to take that road here quick. And coming through here, you can see something off in the distance. What would that be, you ask? Well, it's an old barn with an, a little pasture next to it. 
Of course, this could be a cattle pasture, horse pasture, or whatever. Right now, it does not work. You guys would need to download the uh, the mod called Free Range Cattle Pastures or Free Range Horse Enclosure or something like that in order to use this space. But is it great for RP and great for your farm if you want to just plop down a free range pasture in there? You don't have to use the in-game pastures or one of the other ones. It makes it more like it makes it look more old and run down, of course. And as we continue down this road here, there's not much here. Of course, we just got this massive open area. This spot doesn't have bushes. I know some people like the bushes, some people don't. So I kind of did a mix. There are some places that have some bushes, some places don't. Some places have a little bit, you know. Try to hit that uh, happy medium here. We've got different types of trees everywhere as well. We've got some oak trees. we got some maple trees. We've got some uh, pine trees and spruce trees, of course. And we got some elm trees. Just wanted to kind of mix things up. I know No Man's Land only has the spruce trees, and I, I wanted to spruce things up. All right, after my terrible joke was out of the way, uh, we go ahead and make a left here. Of course, we just got some more wide open areas. We've got some smaller little forests here if you want to clear out a forest. Um, here would be the area to do it. We've got some smaller ones of different kinds of trees. Of course, we got the pine trees, the elm trees, and uh, some more spruce trees over here. Now, I do recommend starting with the... Uh, the truck and a chainsaw route, but I know other people have done starting with zero dollars in a mower or something like that. Or you can just flat out buy a tractor and some plows and stuff and just get right into the uh, the farming aspect. It's really up to you. Um, the possibilities are truly endless for this map. It's just, it's pretty much wide open. There are some elevation changes as you're going to see here in a little bit. Uh, we got some nice little jumps for our truck and such. So... Yeah, got a couple more little foresty areas, some more open areas. I mean, that's pretty much what this map is about, guys. Just wide open with some forests, forests, so you can cut down trees and stuff. Here's our first little jump here, guys. Look at that. You can have some real fun. You can make a, a pretty gnarly off-road course as well, guys. That would be pretty cool through here. Um, but yeah, it's not completely flat. There are some elevation changes, guys. I wanted to uh, emphasize that quite a bit. Because I know plain old flat maps are, aren't that fun. We got some more elevation changes up here as well. Um, I mean, they're not the smoothest hills, of course. As you can see, we're making some nice jumps. And now we're barrel rolling through here, which uh, we landed it. So, I mean, it, it's fine. We landed it. But, I mean, that's pretty much the entire map, guys. I think there's one more thing I got to touch base on you about before I get into how to download the map and that kind of thing. All right, if we come through here, you will notice that I didn't use the entire map. This, of course, is a 4X map. I wasn't about to spend 20, 30 hours on building out the whole map. I was in a rush. I needed this done as soon as possible, guys. If we jump up in the fly mode here, you will see that we have a lot of uncharted territory where you can come out and build the map yourself. I know that's my job. But you can customize the map however you want. You can make a mining site. You can make a giant farm. You can make a giant town. A lot of the things to make a town are already in the server. You just have to find a couple more mods. Because, of course, I've got the Casey's. I've got the Dollar General. I've got the Strip Mall. I've got all that kind of stuff already in the server for you guys. I've even got the roads in here. So you can place down your own roads. So if you wanted to make a giant town, go for it. You can also make this an island if you want. You can uh, go and lower all the terrain and place water down. That's another cool idea. I thought about it, but I didn't want to I didn't want to ruin it for you guys in case you guys wanted something else. I might have an update coming later on to where I make this mostly water and then I have like another a smaller area for like a, a town and then like a giant bridge going across the water. I mean, I'm not sure yet, but that would be kind of cool in my opinion. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that in the future because I can definitely do that. Of course, coming into the menu here, we don't have much. Since I built it like a custom map, you got your farmhouse there, you got the animal dealer right there, of course. But the one thing this map has that stands alone from other maps are the crop types. Of course, you got your standard crop types here, guys, but coming right along here, we got the oil seed radish, the grass. But right here, we've got we've got alfalfa, clover, carrots, onions, hops, lavender, poppies, red cabbage, cabbage, and of course, rye. 
Now, those are some pretty good crop types. Those are the only ones, of course, guys. We go ahead and check that real quick. But yes, there are a lot of custom crop types. Now, of course, guys, you would need some custom custom machinery in here, some custom mods to be able to harvest some of the carrots and stuff like that. But other than that, you should be fine. Moving on into the prices section. We've got a couple more things in here. We've got, see, we've got anhydrous. We've got propane, some, some more of your alfalfa stuff, some clover stuff, some bean straw. Of course, you got your cabbage and stuff. And here's the fun stuff. We got asphalt, coal, tailings, concrete, limestone, dirt, gravel, sand, and much more, guys. I'm not going to, I'm not going to run through everything here, um, but we've got a, a ton of stuff to where you can, uh, you can buy, I'm not sure where you can buy it from. I'm sure you can place down like a buy anything station and you can probably buy it from there if I had to guess. And then you can go ahead and like run your own construction company on this map. Like you can role play yourself building up the town in the, uh, in the map here, making it bigger, expanding, becoming developers. There's just so much you guys can do. As you can see, we have bricks in the server or on the map. And of course, if you have the, uh, the platinum expansion, you've got those, those, uh, fill types as well or those, those that stuff as well but uh we've got crude oil lithium i mean we got a whole bunch of stuff here for you guys to use for your map and uh i can't wait to see what you guys come up with if you guys go the construction route if you guys go from the start from scratch route if you guys just uh build it out better than i did i mean i'd love to see it if you download the map please uh join my discord and uh send me some screenshots i'd love to see what you guys are doing on this map but there is one thing we have not talked about yet and it is how to download the map. Now, I am sorry guys, this map is only gonna be available for my channel members and it's gonna be on my Patreon. 